हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सचिन राठौर फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर डीलिंग विथ कॉन्टैक्ट रेशो ऑफ्स पर गियर द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन इज स्टूडेंट विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट रेशो ऑफ गियर द कॉन्टैक्ट रेशो ऑफ गियर इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट डिजाइन आस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्पर गियर दिस इज अ नंबर which indicates the average number of pairs of teeth in contact so you can think about this the contact ratio required for designing gear so whether we required the contact to find out the contact ratio while designing the gear you can think about this so we will see this gears are generally designed to have a contact ratio larger than 1.2 because any inaccuracies in mounting of the gears might reduce the contact ratio and increasing the possibility of impact between the meshing teeth and consequently the noise level it is obviously necessary that the tooth profile be proportionate so that the second pair of the mating teeth comes into contact before the first pair of out of contact that is to check the contact ratio the contact ratio is equal to length of arc of contact divided by the circular pitch so we have to know what is mean by length of path of contact arc of contact for getting the concept of contact ratio the length of path of contact is nothing but the length of common normal cut by addendum circle of the gear and pinion and the length of arc of contact is nothing but the path traced by a point on a pitch circle from beginning to the end of the engagement of two mating teeth and from this two definition we can get the contact ratio is nothing but the ratio of length of arc of contact to the circular pitch so we will see the concept of contact ratio suppose this is a डिडेंडम सर्कल एडेंडम सर्कल एंड पीच सर्कल ऑफ वन गियर दिस गियर नंबर्स वन विल गिव नेम एज अ सेंटर एज ओ वन सिमिलरली दिस इज अ गियर नंबर टू हैविंग डिडेंडम सर्कल पीच सर्कल an addendum circle so this gear number 1 and 2 at me are meeting at this point it's called as a pitch point and suppose this is a tooth of the gear number 1 and this is a tooth of the gear number 2 and meeting uh, engaging point occurs at this point similarly the teeth of the gear number 2 and gear number 1 the engagement of the gear tooth occurs at this point and disengagement occurs at this point so the contact ratio is nothing but the average pair of the teeth are remains in contact from this point to the this point so you have to find out this contact ratio if you draw the common tangent to the base circle that must should pass through the pitch point this is the law of gary already we have seen in previous lecture so this this is nothing but your the pitch point and this is a we can give a name as a mn this is a if you join the axis of the two gear this is the axis of the two gear it should be the perpendicular and this should be the perpendicular
the engagement point will be this we will give name as a k pitch point p and disengagement occurs at l point so k p l is nothing but the length of path of contact which is nothing but the length cut along the common normal from addendum circle of gear and pinion so that k p l is nothing but the length of path of contact the engagement of this tooth occurs from k to l in disengagement point kp is it is having the two segment that is a kp and pl kp is called as a length of path of approach and pl is called as a length of path of recess so we have to find out the length of path of contact and length of path of recess for that purpose we have to do the one construction if you join this this is nothing but to the pressure angle indicated by the letter phi so if i join the length o1 to l as well as o2 to k so now we have to find out the length of path of contact that is nothing but the kl so we are getting the by the geometrical consideration we are getting the length of path of contact kl is equal to square root of r square minus r square cos square phi plus square root of r square minus r square cos square phi minus r plus r sin phi r a is nothing but radius of addendum circle capital r indicates the radius of pitch circle phi is nothing but the pressure angle similarly small r a radius of addendum circle of the pinion radius of pitch circle small r and phi is the pressure angle so from this equation we can easily find out the length of path of contact if you are getting the length of path of contact we can find out length of arc of contact is equal to length of path of contact divided by cos phi this length of arc of contact is nothing but the arc traced along the pitch circle from engagement to the disengagement means if the engagement is occurs at this point we can give a name along the pitch circle we are getting the g point here is a p point pitch point so r traced along the pitch circle is gp we are getting the disengagement at this point so gph gives the length of arc of contact and we are getting by this equation and the contact ratio is calculated by length of arc of contact divided by circular pitch so by using this equation we are getting the contact ratio so i have taken these references thank you